I'm talking to my oncologist the other day. I had an appointment. He asks me where I'm at with my part of life right now with the scan changing and the cancer growing and things like this. And I said, I told him, I said, where I'm at in everything is I said, I, I have a train that's pulled up. My train pulled in the station about eight weeks ago. You know, you hear this expression when your train pulls in the station, it might be your time to go. Mine pulled in the station about eight weeks ago. And it's a 1950s Airstreamer. It's got the little California bubble on top. It has one window. It's got grandma curtains in it, little lace curtains. Okay, it's got a candle on the other side with a table setting for one or for two. I don't know. But there's a couple people on the other side of the window. And they're, wait they're my attendants. They're my handlers. What they're telling me is that they'll feed me. They'll love me. They'll tell me jokes. They'll have a cigarette if I want a cigarette, you know? They're waiting for me. So every day when I, I get up and get my day started, I think of my train. It's right there. Oh, it's idling real nice, too. Real sexy like a kitten, you know, purr, real nice purring. And every day I see this train, and I, I'm on the platform, and I say, you know, maybe tomorrow I'll be with you, but i got to do some tap dancing today. I told this to my oncologist, and he said, man, he goes, I wish more of my patients were at this part of their life where you're at, that they're cool with it. And I looked him in the eye and I said, hey, this kind of stuff doesn't show up on your paycheck now, does it? He said, you're right. He goes, every night my wife asked me how my day was. He goes, it's just a regular oncology day, uneventful. He goes, but tonight, he goes, I got something for her tonight.